welcome back to my channel or if you are new hello and welcome so today I thought I would share with you a couple of recipes for autumn winter time or the fall if you are from America I love watching all these fall videos and decorating the house for fall and all these autumnal recipe ideas so I thought I would share with you a couple of mine and I really hope that you enjoy this if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know to make more content like this and I hope you have a cup of tea ready and some cozy snacks so you can get ready and watch this video. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is a cake in the slow cooker. I've never made this before. This is a pineapple cake with cinnamon in and all you will need is 100 grams of self-raising flour, 100 grams of brown sugar, 100 grams of butter, two eggs, a teaspoon of baking powder and also a teaspoon of cinnamon and some vanilla extract as well. You're then going to want to mix everything together but before you put all your ingredients in the slow cooker do remember to grease your slow cooker dish or maybe add some spray or some oil whichever you prefer just so everything doesn't stick even though if you are just going to serve it straight from the slow cooker it doesn't particularly matter if it sticks um, but just to be aware that it will all stick if you don't grease it up. You're then going to want to add three pineapple slices to the top of your cake mix. And then I popped mine on high for two hours and it was the perfect cake. It actually didn't look that appealing but honestly it tasted so good it reminded me of something like from school dinners at school this was like the perfect family after tea pudding for me I loved this we served it with custard Now on to recipe number two. These are some delicious oat kind of bars or you can kind of maybe call it a flapjack maybe. So all you're going to need for this is two bananas. You're going to mash these up into a bowl. You're going to add one cup of oats, a teaspoon of cinnamon as well and half a cup of brown sugar. Then I'm adding in a handful of sultanas, raisins, you can choose chocolate chips if you prefer but I just thought the raisins sultanas would go better with the cinnamon and they definitely did. Then adding in 50 grams of melted butter and I'm just going to mix everything together and combine it all. Then popping everything into a lined baking dish and I'm going to cook this in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes on 180 and then it should be nice and gooey and cooked and it'll just be really nice chewy like oat bars. These were delicious and the boys really enjoyed having them as well. These could be perfect for a snack in the lunchbox as well or just a snack with a cup of tea or if you were having them for breakfast or something, they're perfect for all day round. Now moving on to recipe number three, I am using some ready rolled puff pastry. I'm just going to pull all of this out and I'm going to cover it in butter. I'm going to spread some butter across the whole sheet and then I'm going to add some cinnamon sugar and these are going to be some little mini cinnamon rolls and these are delicious as well. The boys really loved having these for breakfast the next day. They are the perfect little breakfast snack and especially very autumnal, fall, very cosy, perfect to have with a little cup of tea or an autumnal drink or something. So these are brilliant. I found that if you get a rolling pin and roll all the cinnamon sugar down, it sticks to it better. So when you come to rolling them up into little mini cinnamon rolls, it's a lot easier and everything stays. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut your pastry in half, then you're going to cut all these little strips across each side so you've got loads of little 
small pieces and then you're going to roll them up into tiny little balls like so and then pop them on a baking tray and pop them in the oven again for about 12 minutes at 180. So that is it for this video guys, I really hope that you enjoyed finding out these little autumnal recipes with me, if you do recreate them please don't forget to tag me over on Instagram and I hope that you enjoyed it, I will see you in my next one, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time, bye guys!